What is going on, guys? DBG here. Today, we're going to be doing a gameplay with the guy that is the Knicks. The guy has been carrying the damn Knicks, and it's going to be Jalen Brunson. What a playoffs for Jalen Brunson. I'm shocked that he's not a Dark Matter, but my expectation is they're going to give him a Dark Matter in the next round. He's already had a 40-point game. That's my expectation is the reason why he didn't get a Dark Matter is they're going to give him a Dark Matter in the next round. Whereas, like, Tyrese Maxey's already out, and so is Chris Middleton, so they decided to give them Dark Matters. That is my prediction. But for um, Jalen Brunson right here, 98 three-ball, 98 mid-range, 98 ball handle. He's got a 92 steal, 95 perimeter defense. He's got 97 block, 90, or 97 speed, 97 speed ball, 97 acceleration, 98 lateral quickness. He's also got, um, like, 58 badges, 58 total badges. So he's got limitless range. He's got all the offensive badges you need. Speed booster, fast feet. He's got uh, right stick ripper, 94 feet. Wait, does he only have gold clamps? Did I miss something? I think I missed, I think I must have missed it. No, he's got Hall of Fame clamps. But I'm just looking through him on the database. He doesn't have anchor. He doesn't have a movable enforcer. So he's not going to beat his anything on defense. Like he's tiny. He's 6'2 with a 6'4 wingspan. At least it's better than him being 6'1 a couple of years ago. But he's got the Kyrie dribble style. He's got Brunson on very quick. Which I think Brunson on very quick could at least make him a dangerous player. Like, I don't think he's going... I don't think good is the word I would use to describe him. But I do think there's potential for Brunson to be a dangerous player. So obviously, Kyrie dribble style. Normal leaner. Wouldn't have mind a tray fade on him. Because I think he had tray fade last year. Um, Like, that's a good release. It's quick. It's quick. Oh, don't really like that behind the back. It's the Dame behind the back. It's not bad. Like, as far as separation goes, it's just slow. It's just very, very slow in what he's doing. So you can't really do much with that. He does have the floater specialist um, package, which I don't really know how to take floaters. I need to get better at it, but his layout package is called floater specialist. And I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way of doing it. Like, I wish that I was a bit better as far as um, that is concerned because I do know that guys that are shooting floaters are absolutely killing it this year because they're nearly impossible to stop. If they're not blocked, they go in every single time, but obviously I'm not... Um, I need to get better at that aspect of the game. Hot zones everywhere outside the three-point line. It's pretty nice. But at the same time, he is really just a pure offensive player and... Look, he's Jalen Brunson. He's Jalen Brunson. That's all I can say is like, he's going to, you got, the only way, if you want to be effective with Jalen Brunson in 2K, you got to almost use it like it's real life. You got to surround him with defensive players and size. If you can surround Brunson with defensive players and size, you might be able to get away with him in this game because he is a pretty nice offensive point guard. But at the same time though, if you can't do that, he's going to struggle. So anyway, now it's green three. Now let's get on to the old game. Let's get on to the game right here because yeah, Bronson is definitely a guy that I'm interested in as a card. As a player, like I think I hated Brunson in 2K22. I didn't, I hated, hated, hated Brunson last year. I remember using him, uh, his Dark Matter card last year and I was like, this card is a garbage man. But at the same time, Brunson is not going to be great this year. But if you are a Brunson fan, at least you've got a decent version of him that's better than that awful pink diamond card that um, you would have got previously. So I'm going to replace Derek White with Brunson. And then I'm going to use the better of better than Aaron Gordon is Jaden McDaniels. So I'm just going to put in some playoffs cards. For the rest of the day, I'm probably going to be using mostly playoffs cards anyway. Um, I'm going to complete the challenges, get myself bam. Hopefully, by the end of the day, like, I'm going to play some basketball in about an hour. So, hopefully, the goal is that by the end of today, we have picked up um, Russ. We have picked up Bam Adebayo. We picked up um, Dominique Wilkins and, obviously, Chris Middleton. So, you're going to see a whole bunch of gameplays on this channel today. Tomorrow, we rest. <laughs> Tomorrow, we rest. That's all I can say. Um, but, yeah. So, let's go on to this right here. We're facing a very easy lineup here. So Brunson should be able to go and get his. And he has given me a three-point shot, which I missed. Good boy, McDaniels. Green that. There we go. If he's looking for points in the paint with... Oh, 
Oh, I thought we had him on the block. Oh, I thought we had that. Oh my God, and he hits the white. He hits the white, really. I'm very, very bad when it comes to bursting off Kyrie Dribble style though. The release, I still don't know how I feel about it. The annoying thing is that just the way the game's played, you can't really use Bronson the way Bronson plays in real life. Because there's no way for a 6-1 guy to be good as, as good inside as Bronson is. He just bailed out of that and got away with it. Grabbed. Good shot. There we go. Like, on, like, if you're able to figure out a way of using Bronson purely as a um, three hunter, you're good, but I'm really, really not good at bursting with Kyrie Jewel style. Like, I don't mind the Booker cross launch, but there's just something about Kyrie that I always struggle with. Okay, win the game before I start trying to bait blocks. Okay, we're good. Leaner. Good shot there by um, Bronson. Come on. Oh, there we go. That should be green. Come on. Like, Bronson's release is actually super, super nice. Like, if this game wasn't so... I'm not even going to say so height-centric, like... If you could actually use Brunson, like if the post game existed, like back in like the 2K17 days, and you were able to use Brunson, like you use Brunson in real life, he'd be good because he does have a pretty good release. It's just now a case where it's like, he doesn't do anything on defense. And you can't, it's impossible to use Brunson like he's Brunson. We got a nice crab right there and a good three point shot there. Okay, is he gonna attack? No, he pulled from mid. That's not a good shot. Uh, screw it. Spin jumper from deep. Jalen Bronze. Ah. Thought we had that one. Probably, not, I was about to say, it's probably not the time to bait blocks. That's literally what I tried to do at last possession. It's not a good release by me. You gotta start hitting that. There we go. Good shot there by Brunson. Okay, we're good. We're all good. Now we can probably bait a few blocks. I can live with that pull-up. That's not a shot that I care if it goes in. Um, spin pullback. Or spin layup, I guess. That's not what I meant to do there. Okay, we're good. Screen scope. He's spamming. I'm trying to do something in the post to Jalen Brunson. But the problem is, is that if he's spamming that square button, I can't really. Got him, fade. Oh, pull up. He, oh, I think he got his ankles. I don't know if he moved back with LeBron or Bronson got his ankles. But I'll take that. Put that on a Sim Nation montage right there. If I did get his ankles, that is. Spin. Oh, game him. <laughs> oh. I, I, like, I'm up 19-7, so I kind of want to do something cool for game. Especially because this guy's just not very good. There's no way he has that in him. Oh, very late. Oh. I don't need to do a 360, just something cool. Something cool. Can I Eurostep him? Didn't mean to do that. Oh, we got him jumping. Leaner. Oh, I missed it. We sent him into the stand and then went and missed. And that's a contest, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not just shooting a catch and shoot. I will shoot a heavy. I will miss shots just trying to do something cool with Bronson to end this game. Just miss your shot, please. This guy is going all out right here. Okay, we're good. Let's pull up. I, that front fade is a shot that I cannot hit this year. All right, let's just... I've tried enough dumb shots. Let's just win the game. Did I just walk into a contest? All right. My, I've just conceded, like, I've just assumed I'm winning this game and have decided to just do dumb things. Oh, uh, but it would be funny if I could have done something cool, but shoot it. Honestly, shoot it. I don't care if you make the shot. I'm going to score on this possession. 
Okay, you. Got him. Got him with the dame. Three. Green. Ah, that's kind of cool, I guess. But we did get almost all the three-pointers. So anyway, yeah, that is the video, lads. Great win. Brunson is fun. I don't think he's the best card in the world to use, but I think he's a very, very fun card in my team. And if you want to argue that's the most important thing, fair, fair enough. Very, very fun card to use.